Hi, I'm Marie Butcher with Carmel River Watershed Conservancy, and today we are taking a look at the lagoon and Carmel River Beach, um, starting here at the south arm of the river where it flows into the sea. During our tour, we're going to be thinking about the intersection and weaving of different stories in this environment. The bird story, the people story, the fish story, and of course, the water story that connects everything. We're going to see a lot of different bird species here. Some are going to be more the ones that are familiar that are familiar to you with the freshwater environments, such as the Canada geese. Um, and then others are going to be the ones you associate with uh, saltwater, which are uh, the seagulls and the pelicans and so forth. Can you hear the songbirds in the reeds? There's song sparrows and red-winged blackbirds. Here we have the seagulls enjoying the river bathing. and a snowy egret. Did you know that there's a variety of gull species in our region, as well as pelicans? The most common is the brown pelican, which was considered endangered in the 1970s. Its recovery is due to regulations against pesticides. Here we see the Canada geese, both a migratory bird and a resident at this point. Here they're enjoying the lagoon and the beach. It's the job of all of us to preserve and protect this beautiful riparian corridor that is home to over 350 species of birds at the mouth of the river. The meeting of the river and the sea is such a sacred place and it's one that has been recognized by the very first peoples who lived here. It has been said that the Rumsen Ohlone and Esalen tribes have lived here for more than 10,000 years knowing every contour of the land, knowing the changes of the river, and being grateful for the gifts of the water and the land. One never knows whether it will be a flood year or a drought year, and when the river will reach the sea and breach, and when it will recede and the lagoon will refill again. We know that the First Peoples spent a lot of time at the lagoon, navigating the river and the sea we can see this grinding stone showing their ancestry here at this special place. We know that fish were very important to the early peoples as they are to us today. And so that brings us to the fish story. The fish rely on the meeting of the river and the sea. They are known as rainbow trout in the river and steelhead when they go out to sea for they have changed, they have smolted and become a creature that can adapt to the salt water and they have another feature where they can sense their river. They know that it is their river to which they must return in order to swim all the way back to the headwaters 
and spawn. And so this is the story of water, of the river flowing to the sea, of all the relationships between the fresh water and the salt water, the fish, the people, the birds, the land, all of it. We protect what we love. And we love this place, and we hope you will love it too. Thank you.